welcome back. So today I have a very different and very exciting video for you. I'm gonna con I'm gonna try and contain my excitement as best as I can. So if I'm like talking really fast or just like moving a lot, please look past that because this is a very special video for me. So not only is it a special video because of the content that it holds, um, I have a announcement that I want to make here in just a few after I babble about this, but. First things first, I talked about it and kind of announced it the day that it happened on my Snapchat. So not very many of you were able to see or even know what I was talking about. If you don't already know, obviously by the picture and the title, I got to do Sabrina Sebrock's makeup a few weeks ago. She lives in Mexico and is very famous in Mexico. So let me just give you a rundown of some of the stuff that she does. Just some of the stuff that I'm aware of that she does because I do know that she does a whole lot. So she is a model, she is a singer, she is a TV personality. She has been on the cover of Playboy five different times, which is crazy because I know that it is, you know, such a privilege and like an honor to be on the cover of Playboy at least once. And so the fact that she was on it five different times is insane. I believe she was on it twice in Mexico, once in Italy, once in Russia, I believe. So crazy stuff. Um, she came to the States uh, about two weeks ago to work with my boyfriend Robbie who is a producer like I said she is a singer so she wanted to come and record a couple songs with him and that is how I was able to get the opportunity to film this with her um, she was only in town for like two and a half days it was like very brief she was only here to work so the fact that I was able to take her away for a few hours and and record this video for you guys I'm just so grateful and I think that's awesome and I all the thanks to her and all the thanks to Robbie for setting this up because this is huge like this is a really big deal and I'm so excited if you can't tell that I was able to video this and be able to show you guys and just exciting stuff so before I went ahead and did makeup on her she kind of told me what she wanted I know that she so that she liked really soft and natural eyes she wanted a dramatic wing and she said as far as her lips she didn't care what color we did she liked bold lips it didn't really matter so all those things are exactly what I delivered to her. So um, I would say that the finished look in the end would be called more of like a soft glam because overall the look was pretty soft. There wasn't anything too, too dramatic because the eyes were very light, um, but there still were glam qualities to it. There was a little bit of shimmer on the lids and there was a pretty dramatic wing and there was a bold lip. So I would say natural soft glam. That's what I guess we'll go ahead and call the looks. Thank you again to Sabrina. I've already told her numerous times, but thank you again for allowing me to do this. Thank you to Robbie for setting this up. So with all that being said, thank you. And let's see, for in other news, another announcement, I feel like there's so many announcements, so much stuff that I have to tell you that I've been like bubbling up that I can finally say. After many, many years of just wanting and dreaming and waiting and planning, I can finally say that I will be launching my very own makeup website in the month of June on the 23rd. The fact that I'm even saying that is so crazy. I don't think you realize like how important it is to me. Just, um, oh, man, I have, I have wanted this for a really, really long time. I want to say it's been like six years almost that I've been like wanting this. It's just the fact that this has finally come to pass and that I can, I can see it and it's the product is there it just it blows my mind and I know that it's not that big of a deal to some because I know you know thousands of people you know make websites every single day but for me this is something that I have wanted for so long and I waited so long because if you know me you know that I'm going to wait and do it right I just have such high expectations for myself and I want my product to look as best as it possibly can and as professional as it possibly can. That is why it has taken so long for this website to come to pass because I can honestly say that I have done it right and um, it was worth the wait. Like all that time, all those years, all the planning, all the waiting, it was worth the wait because looking at it now, just seeing the, the finished product is so unbelievable and it just, it, this is something that's so special because this is my name on this on this website. It's me. It's important to me. It's me branding myself, branding my name, branding my business. It's what I want the world to see when they open up this website. That website is what I want is what the world is going to see of me and my work and it's just something that is so important, it's something that is so special to me because I've worked on it for so long. This has taken 
about a whole year for me to get to start to finish or start into the point that I am right now. And I'm still not even done because it's about 60% done. Um, so many different things had to come into the making of this website, um, a photo shoot that took a while to finally get together, get my models together, find my photographer, the perfect one, which thank the Lord I did. I found an amazing one that was able to deliver exactly what I wanted. So, so many different steps, so many different people that were a part of making this come to life. All the, you know, my models that helped me, my family and my friends that were able to be a part of this, just all of this, all of, all of the little things that had to be done first in order to get me where I am right now. It's everything that I have ever hoped and dreamed and wanted my own website to look like. You know, when you you come up with these with these things in your head and you picture something, right? You visualize it and you dream about it. But to actually see it like in front of you on a computer screen and it like coming to life and when you finally see that finished product, that alone blows my mind. Like completely blows my mind. I think the best part of it all is just like me just launching it and letting letting everyone see it, letting the world see my product, letting the world see my work and and what I'm about. I know that this is just a teeny, teeny, tiny step in the right direction for the things that I want to do and the things that I want to accomplish in my life. So, um, just good things to come. That's really all I have to say. So, again, fingers crossed if all else goes smoothly, the launch date will be on June the 23rd and that is a Thursday. So, I will be announcing it. Keep a lookout. Um, exciting things to come, exciting videos to come. I have so many lined up. So stay tuned, keep in touch with me, connect with me. All my information is down below. Um, I will be announcing the launch date on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all of them. And um, then shortly after that, since that is gonna be on a Thursday, that weekend my family is throwing me a little something something in honor of that. So a lot of events coming up in the month of June. So, so excited for all of that. Thank you guys again for watching this video. I thank you again to Sabrina so much for letting me do this. Um, and I hope you guys like it. Comment. Let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up because this video deserves a thumbs up if it ever has. Um, don't forget to subscribe somewhere up here. Subscribe. Wherever. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment. Like. And we'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Mwah. Alrighty, so Sabrina already had on her base makeup. She already had on her concealer, her foundation. She had already done her eyebrows, and right now she has on a bright pink lipstick, but we are going to change that in the end. First, I'm going to start off with priming up her eyelids, and I'm going to be taking a little bit of Urban Decay's Naked Weightless Concealer on a damp beauty blender. This is just going to help us prep and prime the eyes and just really neutralize them for these shadows we're going to be going in with in just a sec. Here, I'm just taking a little bit of translucent powder and putting this all over the lid just to help us out tremendously in the blending process. I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette today. I'm going to be using the Cool Quad. And the first shade I am taking is the Lazarus on my Sigma E40. And I'm just going to be putting this all over the eyelid, but mainly focusing it into the crease, as you can see here. Next, I'm going to be taking my Morphe M433, and I'm taking that shade next to Lazarus, which is just a shade darker in Salios. And I'm going to be putting this all into the crease. Next, I'm going to be using that same Morphe M433. I'm getting that same Laz uh, Salio shade and just deepening up the inner and the outer corner. And what this is going to do is just going to give her a very big, bright, doe-eyed, rounded out eye look, which is my personal favorite. Here, I'm just going to go in with that same blending brush and make sure that we don't have any harsh lines on what we just did. Next, I'm going to be taking just my finger and using Liberatus, and that is the white shade in the Cool Quad, and I'm just focusing this in the center of the lid, and what this is going to do is it's just going to make the eyelids bigger and just make them pop more, and that's what this technique will do, is using just that white matte shade. Here, I'm going in with that same Morphe M433 and just deepening up the inner and the outer corner. Again, I go back and forth, and I do this quite a few times throughout the whole process, and again, getting that same blending brush and going over every single time I do do that just to make sure that everything is really buffed out nicely. So even though Sabrina did want a really nice, soft and light natural eye look, she did request a dramatic wing, a pretty thick wing. So that is exactly what I gave her. I really did try to take my time on this one because you always want to take your time when you're doing a wing and two, just because I really wanted to make sure that I was building up the wing slowly. You always want to start little and then go big. And that's just going to be the easiest way to do that. 
For her lashes, I wanted to give her something dramatic and I automatically knew that I wanted to use my ultimate favorite lashes in the style Grand Glamour by Elora, the Vegas Nay Collection. Those are my favorite lashes of all time. I personally love a really soft, like natural, neutral eye. Um, I wouldn't say neutral, but just a soft, really soft natural eye with just dramatic lashes. That is my personal favorite. But regardless of what look I did, I knew that I wanted to use these specific lashes on her. And honestly, they looked gorgeous on her. So, so pretty. Here I'm just taking a little bit of liquid liner and what this is going to do is it's going to camouflage the lash band and because even though these are super dramatic and very unnatural lashes, you still want the application of the lashes to look as natural as possible. So that's what this is going to help out with. Next, I'm just going to be taking a small detailed, detailed brush and I am using that same matte white shade Libratus from the Cool Quad and I am putting this on the very, very high points of the brow bone, like literally right under her eyebrow and in the inner corners of the eye. What this is going to do is it's just going to open up and brighten up the eye look and just make things pop a little bit more. And again, this is the white matte shade. Next, I'm taking my Morphe G20, and I'm going to be using Anastasia's Single Eyeshadow in Pink Champagne. I felt like this look needed just a little something more, and I'm focusing this shadow just in the center of the eye, like literally right on top of that white matte shade. Um, I didn't wet my brush because I didn't want the shadow to look too intense because this shadow can be super intense. I didn't want that, so I just left the brush dry. Here, I'm just going to be going in with... Um, a little bit more of that liquid liner because I went ahead and I put that extra shadow on there so a little bit of fallout came and I just want to make her liquid liner look as black and inky as possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and go straight into contouring. I actually did use the Kat Von D shade and light face contour palette and I am taking the shade shadow play and I can't remember which brush this is but I know that it is a Morphe brush. I just really took my time to carve out the face. Um, she had great bone structures so I was just enhancing what she already had. Here I'm going to be going in with my MAC Emphasize and since I wasn't able to start off her makeup, since I wasn't able to do her foundation and her concealer, which honestly is a crucial part in the highlighting step, it's like the highlight before the highlight if that makes any sense, I wasn't able to start that off. So I just took a generous amount of MAC Emphasize powder and I put this generously in all the places where I would put that concealer. So underneath the eyes and upside down triangles, I wanted to carve out her contour so it was more sharp and precise. I put it down the bridge of the nose, on the forehead. Again, everywhere where I would put that concealer in the beginning is exactly where I put a good amount of that MAC Emphasize and this is what kind of took its place. Here I just wanted to contour her nose a little bit. She didn't need this at all. Her nose was perfect, but I figured I would just do this for show. And the shade I'm using is that same shadow play shade from the Kat Von D um, contour palette. Here I'm going to be going in with a Sephora Single Blush Pan in N3. This blush I've been obsessed with lately. It is great for those of you with more um, fair skin. And this reminds me a lot of Max Melba Blush, which is my favorite blush of all time. So I've been obsessed with this one lately. Here I, of course, wanted to give her that glow. So I went ahead and used a Becca highlighter in the shade Pearl. Again, because she has fair skin, I wanted to use this shade because um, it is the lightest in their collection and it fit her perfectly. Here I'm just going back in with a little bit of that blush just to blend in that highlight and the blush together because you do not want a distinct stripe or line of highlight. So I just wanted to make sure that that was blended in nicely. Here I'm just going back in with a little bit of that MAC Emphasize just to clean up my mess, make sure that that highlight is still popping because that's important. And here I'm just going in with a Morphe pencil brush and a little bit more of that Liberatus to smoke out her bottom lash line ever so slightly. Then I'm going to be applying a little bit of mascara just to mesh her natural and her false lashes together because you do not want to see your natural lashes whenever you have your falsies on. I went ahead and had Sabrina take off her pink lipstick and I'm putting some powder just to neutralize it. So she did say that even though she, you know, likes her eyes more natural and light, she did like a pretty bold lip. Like she didn't care really what color we did with her lips. However, she did like the color that I had on and it was actually the NYX liquid lipstick in um, from the lingerie collection and I believe this was in the shade honeymoon and this is more of the one of the darker darker colors in the collection so absolutely loved this color I don't think I could have picked a better one for this look it was so cool and so different I did notice that she liked 
her glossy lips. So I went ahead and added Hot Teddy from Buxom, the gloss, and I'm so glad that I did. This is truly, I feel, what made the look pop and just really come together. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off by spritzing her face with a little bit of Fix Plus to keep her looking glowy and very dewy. And that completed the look. A huge thanks to Sabrina again for letting me do this. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time.